Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 14th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the select query. Now the select query is one of the most important commands in SQL and uh, as you can see on the slide it is used to get data from tables in a database and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use the select query to pull out the information that we need from a table. Right, so uh, the syntax of select query is pretty simple. It has just two keywords in it and uh, first one is the select keyword and uh, after the select keyword you have to specify the names of the fields or columns that you want to see in the results side and uh, then you have the from keyword and after that you type in the name of the table from which you want to pull out your uh, data so next we are going to see how we can use the select query to pull out information from the employee table in the mysql workbench so i've got my mysql workbench here and uh, in the test database i've got two tables at the moment the first one is the employee in uh, employee table and the second one is the emp underscore info table and uh, before i use the select query to you know get data from the employee table let me just describe it and uh, show you guys what all columns it contains right so this table is we're familiar with this table we've seen it uh, quite a lot of times and we know that it has uh, the id field the name field the date of birth field and the email field right and uh, it also should be having some data in it and we're going to pull that data out using the select query so i'll type in s e l e c t that's select and then the names of the columns that I want to see. So let me pull out data from the name field and the email field. On the next line, I'll type in the from keyword and then the name of the table, which is employee. I put a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement. And when I press control enter, I see that uh, at the moment I've got two rows in the table. The first one has the value mother in the name field and uh, you know mother.bhatia at hotmail.com in the email field and then it got it's got abc in the name field in the second row and abc at gmail.com as the value for the email field in the second row now suppose you want to pull out information from all the fields in the table what do you do in that case you type in select right and then you put in the asterisk character so the asterisk character stands for all columns in the table and then on the next line you type in the from keyword as was the case uh, with the last query that we executed and then the name of the table which uh, in this case would be employee and put a semicolon and uh, when I press control enter I see that I get you know the, the records and uh, this time I get data for all fields right so I see the values in the ID field as well as the values in the DOB field right so these fields were not present in the previous case wherein I mentioned the names of columns that I wanted to see in the results set and uh, in the you know last query that we executed we replace the names of columns by the asterisk character which stands for all columns right so the select query is as I said it's one of the most important commands in SQL and we'll be using it a lot so you know it's it's a very easy query to pick and I'm sure you guys are already comfortable with it so I'll see you in the next tutorial wherein we'll discuss something interesting and important again for sure so please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon